Welcome back, little beans. Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beans who are in the need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite anime character. There won't be any NSFW versions of this ASMR. This is for all ages and is appropriate for all. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blinkies, pop in your headphones, snack on some pockies, sip on some Earl Grey, and enjoy this ASMR. Why, good morning, young mistress. <laughs> you must wake up by this hour. Don't want you to ruin your sleep schedule. Like you did last time. <laughs> Please, young mistress, you must get up. Plus, I prepped you up some breakfast and some nice tea. Well, Mayrin is bringing up the tea, but I hope she doesn't drop it like last time. Ah, oh, the nerve of your servants, especially Mayrin. Anyways, come on, get up. <laughs> I know there's nothing happening today. No meetings, so you're actually free. Mm -hmm. Well, I did make some arrangements for today. Well, yes, I did. Quite peculiar for me to do, huh? <laughs> what kind of butler would I be? Oh, you know. Now, here's your breakfast, and you shall wait until Mayrin comes up. Well, yes, I prepared. Prepped you a very nice breakfast full of protein and nutrients that you need for your beautiful body. I don't want you to grow fat, but you know I'll still cherish you, young mistress. <laughs> Let me feed you. Now, open your mouth while I feed you the oatmeal. It's strawberry flavored. Say, ah. Uh. Mmm, there we go, young mistress. Eating like a big girl. <laughs> I know, I know. I know you're a young lady. <laughs> it's just your height. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. Should I just call you mistress instead? <laughs> Oh, mistress, you are too. <sighs> Oi, Sebastian! I got you some tea! This time I didn't drop it! <laughs> oh, wonderful Mayrin. Thank you very much. <sighs> you may leave now, Mayrin. Now dust the hallways like I've asked you to. Oh, uh, yes, Sebastian! <laughs> oh my god, you're so near me! Now, let me... Pour you some nice warm tea for you. Yes, it's Earl Grey, just the way you like it. Here you are, young mistress. Be careful, it's still hot. Hm? What are my plans for today? Well, it is almost Valentine's Day. You know, the day where everyone finds love. Doesn't matter if it's a couple, friends, and family. I decided to do something very special for you, young mistress. I thought we can go out for a nice outing. Yes, with me. Oh, what's up with that face? Don't tell me you're embarrassed, young mistress. To go out with your butler. <laughs> Oh, there's nothing to be embarrassed about, young mistress. And plus, I find it really romantic. Mm -hmm. Let me dress you up, and I'll show you where I'll take you on our Valentine's Day out. See it as a date, young mistress. No, you know, no need to worry about paying. As your servant, I shall pay for you. You see, 
I am simply one hell of a butler. <laughs> I see a tint of red on your face whenever I say that. <laughs> so cute. Well, I'll let you finish up your breakfast while I pull out some adorable clothes for you to wear. <laughs> Why, certainly, young mistress. I'll let you finish up. Mm -hmm. What was that, mistress? <laughs> like I said, it's a surprise for you. I hope you don't mind. Remember you told me you want to go somewhere adorable like that new cafe you want to go to so badly? <laughs> Seeing your glossing eyes. Oh, so full of wonder. Yes, we are going there first. Come, my lady. Well, here we are. After you, young mistress. <laughs> oh, yes, table for two, please. Possibly right by the window, please. Why, thank you. I always knew you liked to sit by the window, get a beautiful view of the outdoors. Of course, I know so much about you, young mistress. Remember our deal? I must know everything about you to make sure you're safe and sound. <laughs> Come with me. Let me pull a chair for you, my dear. In you go. <laughs> and I'll sit across from you. <sighs> It is a lovely view out there. And a beautiful view in the restaurant as well. Hmm. You seem a lot better than my last young master. He's allergic to cats. But for you, I never knew you liked cats. Well, sadly, he's allergic to them. Which I feel so bad. No wonder he's a dog person. I mean, I'm not saying I hate dogs. It's just I never... They just seem... <sighs> they die too soon. That's why I don't like them. They just die so soon, like a few years later and boom, you lose them. Yeah, I'm sorry, young mistress. I'll let you pick out anything and don't worry. Get as much as you like and I'll pay for you. It's your day, young mistress. And as your Valentine's Day date, I must do all the job for you. Mm hmm And after this, we can go somewhere else. Yes, we can go to the toy store. Or oh, that little anime shop you want to go so badly. Oh yes, we can also go to the carnival too. I think there's like new rides over there. I can win so many games for you. Mm-hmm. I'm going to spoil you so rotten, young mistress. Well, not only I'm simply one hell of a butler, I can also be one hell of a lover. If you know what I mean, young mistress. <laughs> All right, I'll stop. I just like to make you fluster. It's one of my few other hobbies I enjoy doing, is seeing your face so red. So irresistible. Anyways, young mistress, do you know what you're picking? Alright. Hmm, I'm not really that hungry, but that little cake looks pretty good. Maybe I can give that a try. Hmm. Alright, I can, I can get that. Well, what about you? Well, Alright, I'll let the waitress know. Excuse me, ma'am. We are ready to order. Certainly. I would like to have the calico cake, please. And young mistress. She would like that, please. Oh, a kind of tea. What kind of tea would you like, dear? And that too. Oh, no. I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. I thank you very much. 
Well, I'm a demon, remember? I don't really eat a lot of human food. But I will give it a try for you. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm holding your hand. Is that forbidden for a butler to do that for his young mistress? <laughs> it figures. Your skin is so soft. It must have bathed you very well. <laughs> you know, if we never made a contract, I would love to have you all by myself. Not only your soul, but your body too. <laughs> Yes, I'd care to be your valentine's young mistress. I want to fill your heart with so much love and passion and kindness from a bloodthirsty demon. But you chose this, and I want to make it last. Of course I do. You're my young mistress. I must pleasure you at all times. Not only as your butler, but as your personal entertainer. <laughs> oh, what did you say, young mistress? You love me. Well, that's quite weird for you to say to me, young mistress. Well, not to make things quite awkward after what you just said. I love you too. <laughs> I'll always be by your side, young mistress, no matter what. Oh, looks like our food is here. Well, let's eat up, and then after all this, I'll eat you all up. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean, young mistress. But let's enjoy our little date first, until we get to the fun part. Be patient, young mistress. <laughs>